In a major development for the Philippine Air Force's PAF multi-role fighter jet acquisition project, both Dassault Aviation and the Eurofighter Consortium have officially joined the competition. French aviation sources confirm that these European aerospace giants are set to offer their most advanced fighter jets, signaling their intent to secure this highly coveted defense contract. Dassault Aviation is presenting its cutting-edge Rafale F-4, a fighter jet known for its superior avionics, radar systems, and enhanced electronic warfare capabilities. The Rafale F-4 brings significant improvements in network-centric operations and is well-equipped to handle multi-role missions, including air-to-air -air combat and ground attack operations. Its adaptability and modern warfare technology make it a formidable contender in the race. Meanwhile, the Eurofighter Consortium, comprised of Leonardo, Airbus, and Bay Systems, has put forward the Eurofighter Typhoon Tranche 4. Designed for both air superiority and ground attack missions, this variant is armed with the latest avionics and sensor upgrades, offering interoperability in coalition operations, which is critical for modern air forces. The Typhoon's blend of agility, power, and mission versatility has earned it a reputation as one of Europe's top fighter jets. The entry of Dassault and Eurofighter intensifies competition, as the Rafale F-4 and Eurofighter Typhoon Tranche 4 will now compete with other top contenders already vying for the PAF's attention. These include Korea Aerospace Industries KF-21 Borame, Lockheed Martin's F-16 Block 70 seconds Viper, and Saab's JAS-39 Gripen E, F while European fighters bring superior capabilities and advanced technology, the Korean, American, and Swedish options offer cost-effective solutions. The KF-21 Borame is a next-generation fighter with upgrade potential, while Lockheed Martin's F-16 Viper is a proven platform with affordability and a wide range of munitions in its favor. Saab's JAS-39 Gripen stands out for its operational efficiency and cost-effectiveness, making it a strong contender for smaller air forces like the PAF. Both Dassault and the Eurofighter Consortium are expected to present attractive offers to sway the PAF's decision. These offers may include defense cooperation agreements, technology transfers, and potential partnerships aimed at fostering the Philippines' local defense industry. Given the Philippine government's growing focus on enhancing self-reliance in defense manufacturing, these incentives could be pivotal in influencing the final selection. Despite the advanced capabilities of the Rafale and Eurofighter, the PAF may lean towards more affordable options, with the Gripen and F-16 Viper seen as budget-friendly yet highly capable alternatives. However, the European competitors' ability to bundle advanced technology and defense cooperation could make their proposals more attractive. This competition is part of the broader Horizon 3 phase of the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, modernization program, which emphasizes air defense and multi-role capabilities. As tensions in the region, especially in the South China Sea, continue to escalate, acquiring a next-generation fighter jet is crucial for the Philippines' defense posture and regional security efforts. In the coming months, further updates and developments are expected as the PAF continues to assess technical proposals and possible site visits. The final decision, expected to be made in 2024, will have a lasting impact on the Philippines' air defense capabilities and defense relations with key global partners. The selection of the next-generation fighter will not only boost the PAF's operational readiness but also shape the country's long-term defense strategy. Whether it is the Rafale F-4, Eurofighter Typhoon, or another platform, this acquisition will play a critical role in securing the Philippines' airspace and bolstering its position as a key player in the Asia-Pacific region. As this high-stakes competition unfolds, 
The Philippines is presented with a range of top-tier options, each offering unique strengths. The chosen aircraft will be instrumental in advancing the country's modernization efforts and ensuring its ability to defend its sovereignty in the face of evolving regional challenges.